Ever since a horrible experience getting to a campsite in the Lake District, which was the first proper trip out in the motorhome, I have always looked at the access to campsites and I consider it something that needs to be mentioned when reviewing a campsite. This campsite is just off the B1439, which is actually quite a large road, so there are no problems getting to the site. I only have a small low profile motorhome, however I saw some huge units during my stay on the site, including several large motorhomes and a stupidly big Hymer A-Class motorhome, you know, the ones that look like an executive coach, so access is not an issue with this site. There is a barrier to the entrance and exit of the site, therefore you can't simply rock up and pitch up. On entering the site you have to visit reception, book in and pay for your stay. Once this part of the process is complete, you are then escorted to your pitch by the warden and told where everything is. This process seems over the top when there are a lot of other campers waiting to pitch up too, but this personal touch takes away the stress of trying to find your pitch, identify what way round you have to park, work out where you can fill the water tank, work out which hookup point to use etc. As soon as you arrive at the site it becomes obvious it is a secure site and there will only be fellow campers on there and not any, any old Tom, Dick or Harry. Once through the barrier I have to say that I was more than impressed. The site is neat, tidy and attractive. All the pitches are neatly laid out and easily identifiable and there is a defined and well maintained road around the site. It is easy to see the site wardens work hard and do a great job of keeping the site looking good. The site is surrounded by trees and woodland, which in the autumn months are gorgeous browns, yellows and autumn colours, which gives you a warm fuzzy feeling inside. There is a mixture of hard standing and grass pitches and since I had a hard standing pitch I can only comment on this. The pitch was large, spacious and level and I didn't have to use the chocks. Even though there are loads of pitches on site there was plenty of space around the pitch so I wasn't hemmed in. The pitches aren't fully serviced but there is an electricity pile on close by to each of them so there is no need to have a really long electric cable.
The facilities at this site are exceptional and probably the best of all the campsites I have used in the UK. The facilities block is heated, which is essential during the colder months. All of the sinks are in their own separate cubicle, complete with privacy curtain. What's more, there is a plug in every sink, so my plastic shaving pot was redundant during my stay. The showers are spacious, hot, and the water is plenty powerful enough to wash away the soap suds, and the changing area, whilst a little on the small side, is adequately protected by a screen to keep the clothes, shoes and towels from getting wet. The toilet stroke shower block is modern and exceptionally clean and I had no complaints or criticisms whatsoever. There is also a laundry, family shower room and washing up room in the facilities block, all of which are modern, clean and more than up to the job. One thing I did find surprising is that there is a plug in all the sinks in the washing up room, which is impressive. In all the other washing up rooms I have used on other sites, there has never been a sink plug. There really isn't much else to say about the facilities other than the above. At £27 per night in low season, this site definitely isn't cheap, and it's more than I pay for the sites I normally use in the summer months. Whilst this site is very expensive, all things considered, it is worth every penny. I should point out that if I were a member of the Camping and Caravanning Club, the cost of the pitch would have been £22 per night, which is below my £25 per night threshold and exceptionally good value for money. I've looked into joining the Camping and Caravanning Club, but the cost of membership would be of no benefit because I have little interest in the location of the majority of the other club sites. Based on my visit, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend this site. I should caveat this though and say that I, had, I stayed on the site in the middle of November, i.e. low season when it wasn't very busy. I've been told that during the summer months this is a very busy site and this brings about issues and problems I didn't encounter during my stay. More people means more noise, more mess, having to wait to use toilets, showers, washing up sinks etc. At the end of the day this is a big commercial site and I think it would be a totally different site in the summer than it is in the winter. I don't like busy overcrowded campsites and I know that I would not enjoy staying at this site during the summer months. In the winter though, it is a different story and in the low season I would have no issues in staying here again.